Microsoft Defender for Endpoint has been supported on PCs that run ARM chips for almost three years, and yet with 24H2 and devices bought in the past few months, it's probably not working for you, certainly wasn't working for me when I tried to onboard this device to Defender for Endpoint. This is all because Microsoft have removed the Sense client, also known as Defender for Endpoint, from the base OS. I don't know why this has been done, but probably it's to do with the fact that Defender for Endpoint is not the only EDR out there, and other EDR vendors probably don't like the fact that Microsoft are bundling their security tools with the OS. That said, it is an easy fix. Now, I'm not going to bore you with how a Defender for Endpoint is onboarded. If you want to see that, I have a video that we write up your street. But in the meantime, let's jump over to my device and take a look at how we fix it. Firstly, we check that it's got the problem. We're going to run terminal as admin and I'm going to run this command here, which just checks to see the capabilities that are there. So we're going to run dism slash online slash get capabilities, run that. And then we're going to find the actual capability that we want which is microsoft.windows.sense.client and four tilde just for good measure. We then have uh, the present, uh, the state, and that's it's not present. So it's currently not installed. Very easy to add that, and once we've added it, it'll be fixed. So all we're gonna do is just tap in very similar. So rather than get capabilities, we're going to add in the capability here. So that is the name of it, Microsoft Windows Sense Client and then four tilts. So we're doing DISM online, add capability, capability name, run that and it starts to install. Now when it's done, it will be ready for you to push the normal uh, onboarding commands that you uh, use via Intune or Blue Policy or Config Manager, however you do that. But until you do that, it's not going to work. So. As I say, if you do want to see how to do that onboarding, then check out this other video that I have got online ready for you to look at. Um, but yeah, see you next time.